Hello and welcome to another A-Level Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, from MrGoff.com. This video will focus on database normalization. Normalization is a three-stage process that helps to design an efficient database. It ensures there is no data duplication, reducing the size of the database. The fact that data is not duplicated means it will always be consistent. Here we can see a database that's in zero normal form. You can see that in this database, courses and teachers names are both written in repeatedly. This takes up extra room and each time it's done presents a chance for it to be mistyped so that there is some data inconsistency. Moving to first normal form is the first stage of normalization. A table is in first normal form if it contains no repeating attributes or groups of attributes. Our table in the previous slide contained groups of attributes. To make this work, we have to split our table in two and create a link table. We now have no repeating attributes and so are in the first normal form. Our tables would now include students with student ID as the primary key, student and date of birth as the other attributes, courses with course ID as the primary key, course, teacher ID and teacher name as the other attributes, and a new table, student studies, with the primary keys from student and course, making up a dual composite key in this table to show which courses each student takes. A database is in second normal form if it is already in first normal form and there are no partial key dependencies. Partial key dependencies can only happen in a table with a composite key, like our link table. An attribute is a partial key dependency if it relies on only one part of the composite key, not both parts. In our example, we have no other fields in our link table, which is the only one with a composite key, and so we are already in second normal form. If I were to add an enrolment date, it would go in the table student studies because it relies on both the student ID and the course ID as they might enrol in different courses on different dates. However, if I were to add a student email address to the table student studies, then it wouldn't be in second normal form because the email address only relates to the student ID and not at all to the course ID. This means if I were to add it, it should go in table students. A database is in third normal form if it is already in second normal form and has no non-key dependencies. A non-key dependency is an attribute that is reliant on another attribute in the table and not the primary key. In the table courses, the attribute teacher name relates to the teacher ID and not the course ID. This therefore needs to be removed to its own table. We now have four tables making up our database that is now in third normal form. In a normalized database, you will have a number of link tables. These represent one to many relationships. Enforcing referential integrity means applying rules to the database that prevent you from removing a record from the one side of the one to many relationship if it is used in an entry in the link table. For example, we would not be able to remove a student while they have an enrollment in a course. As was mentioned earlier, normalizing a database means data is only stored once, which reduces the file size and ensures data consistency. A normalized database is also faster to search as data is stored into smaller tables that are more easily indexed. The database will follow rules for referential integrity. You won't be able to create an enrollment in a course for a student that is not yet in the student table or a course not yet in the courses table. And similarly, you won't be able to delete records from student and course tables if they have an entry in the student studies table. All these features mean that a normalized database is better than a non-normalized one. 
That brings us to the end of this video on database normalization. Join me again soon when I'll be back with a video on structured query language. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.